What's up, Extreme Kids? This is First Lady Kay, and this is your midweek story time where we are reading my first message Bible, a devotional Bible for kids by Eugene Peterson for ages four to eight. And I want to take this time to thank all of our Extreme Kids for doing your challenge questions and sending your answers to ottawachurchkids at gmail.com. It's been our pleasure to see all of your answers and to send you gifts in the mail. And I want to encourage you to continue doing your challenge questions and sending your answers in a creative way to ottawachurchkids at gmail.com so that we can send you a wonderful gift in the mail. So let's get started in our story. This week we're going to be looking at Jesus's betrayal and trial from Matthew 26 to 27. Then Jesus went with them to a garden called Gethsemane and told his disciples, Stay here while I go over there and pray. Taking along Peter and the two sons of Zebedee, he said, Stay here and keep watch with me. Going a little ahead, he fell on his face, praying, My father, if there is any way, get me out of this. But please, not what I want. You, what do you want? When he came back to his disciples, he found them sound asleep. He said to Peter, can't you stick it out with me for a single hour? He then left them a second time. Again, he prayed, my father, if there is no other way than this, I'm ready. Do it your way. When he came back, he again found them sound asleep. This time he let them sleep on and went back a third time to pray. When he came back the next time, he said, My time is up. The Son of Man is about to be handed over to the hands of sinners. Get up. Let's get going. Here is your first challenge question, Extreme Kids. What was most important to Jesus when he prayed? The words were barely out of his mouth when Judas showed up and with him a gang from from the high priests and religious leaders. Judas had worked out a sign with them. The one I kiss, that's the one. Grab him. He went straight to Jesus, greeted him and kissed him. Then he came on him, grabbed him and roughed him up. Oh, here's your next challenge, extreme kids. Do you think Jesus knew that Judas was secretly pointing him out? Hmm. The gang that had grabbed Jesus led him before Cephas, the chief priest. The chief priest said, I command you by the authority of the living God to say if you are the Messiah, the Son of God. Jesus answered, you yourself said it, and that's not all. Soon you'll see it for yourself. The Son of Man seated at the right hand of the Mighty One, arriving on the clouds of heaven. At that, the chief priest lost his temper, ripping his clothes and yelling. They all said, Death! That seals his death sentence. Here's your next challenge, Extreme Kids. Who did Jesus agree he was? Now, before we continue on with our story, we have a definition. Crucifixion. What is crucifixion? It is an ancient method of punishment in which the victim was tied or nailed to a large wooden cross and left to hang until dead. Very, very sad. Let's continue our story. Jesus was placed before Pilate, the governor, who questioned him, Are you the king of the Jews? Jesus said, if you say so. But when the accusations came from the high priests and religious leaders, he said nothing. Pilate asked him, aren't you going to say something? Jesus kept silence, not a word from his mouth. The governor was impressed, really impressed. It was an old custom during the feast for the governor to pardon a single prisoner named by the crowd. At the time, they had the infamous Barabbas in prison. With the crowd before him, Pilate said, Which prisoner do you want me to pardon, Barabbas or Jesus, the so-called Christ? They said, Barabbas. Then what do I do with Jesus, the so-called Christ? They all shouted, Nail him to a cross. Then he pardoned Barabbas, but he had Jesus whipped and then handed him over for crucifixion. 
Isn't that sad, extreme kids? This is a sad part of the story. Let's look at our prayer challenge. Read 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 23 that says, They called him every name in the book, and he said nothing back. He suffered in silence, content to let God set things right. In our prayer today, let us ask God to help us always say kind things to others. It's not always easy, but I know that your prayer is going to help you and everyone around you. And I'm going to pray the same prayer with you. Now for our living out the word challenge. When we follow Jesus, we need to obey God like he did. Talk about what that means with your family. That's going to be a wonderful discussion. And this is the second part of your living out the word challenge, extreme kids. Make stick figures out of popsicle sticks and act out the story of Jesus, Pilate, and Barabbas. Who would you set free? Oh, I can't wait to see your little stick figures and your story. And I can't wait to read your prayers or to see your prayers. I just know that I'm going to be blessed so much by your challenge answers. Thank you so much, Extreme Kids, for being with us this week. I hope you've been blessed by your midweek story time. I want to encourage you to, again, send us your answers to ottawachurchkids at gmail.com. And remember to keep dreaming extreme. And we'll see you next week. This is First Lady Kay signing off.